They're murals you've passed by and have seen for almost 20 years. We're talking about the ones by Wyland near the airport in Honolulu. But whether they'll stay on the Pacific Airport Center building remains somewhat up in the air. The artist wants them to stay. Hawaiian Airlines says it wants to work with them. So what's holding everything up? We sent the newest member of our team, Jen Boniza, to get answers. We cannot be bullied into these companies that buy these buildings and decide that th this isn't important to them. They'd rather have a sign. Hawaiian Airlines bought the Pacific Airport Center building in May of last year and says the building needs to be renovated. As, as part of uh, the spalling work, you need to paint over the spalling in order to uh, maintain the integrity of the building so it's not exposed to the elements. It's really about the safety. The contract contemplates uh, protection of Wyland, his assistants, and the company if somebody is injured. Hawaiian Airlines spokesperson stated that they've given Wyland ample time to respond and are simply waiting for him to sign a standard liability waiver. So the main problem with the contract by these lawyers for Hawaiian Airlines is they want me to sign my rights away as an artist. They want me to be a work for hire. Wyland says protecting an artist's intellectual property rights is the real issue here. And there is a law that protects those rights. The Visual Artists' Rights Act grants the author the right to prevent any destruction, distortion, mutilation, or other modification of that work. But it's a very simple, uh, simple case of them destroying public art without the artist's permission. Both parties say they want to avoid a legal battle. But when asked if Hawaiian would add something to the contract allowing him to keep his rights. As far as uh, discussions about that, uh, we haven't, we haven't uh, come to that term yet. Um, we're still in discussions and uh, it's not something that we're willing to uh, put into a contract at this point. We will follow up and let you know what happens with this ongoing dispute. Jen Boniza, KHON2 News.